Hello again, folks, and welcome to New Let's Play. This is Dragon Warrior 2. Off of Dragon Warrior 1 and 2 for the Game Boy Color. I'm your Game Master Darius, and... Yeah! This is a little continuation of the whole Dragon Warrior slash Quest saga. Let it be known, though, that I will more than likely interchange between, saying Dragon Warrior and Dragon Quest. Usually, preferably, Dragon Quest, seeing as it's a little bit less wordy to say than warrior. Anyways, so also a little bit of a fun fact about my previous playthrough of Dragon Warrior 1. Uh, the one that I had just recorded and finished and all that fun stuff. So, turns out that the last time I proper saved was around level 13 in that playthrough. So, I was just going at it with that. Yeah, until I finished it at level, uh, 20. 21? One of those two. Anyways, enough about that. We're playing Dragon Warrior 2. We're gonna play on the first journal. Now, this one is a little bit more of an interesting title because, uh, they expand upon what it is that you can do by giving you more characters to play with. Uh, and here's the cool part. See, I didn't realize this until someone pointed it out in the comments of Dragon Warrior 1, but Dragon Warrior 1, depending on what you had selected for your name, changed how your character would have leveled up. Like, it, relatively minute differences, but at the same time, it's like penalizing strength, penalizing MP, all that fun stuff. Basically, two higher stats, two lesser stats. And, uh, Ironically, for the record, my two worst stats, if I had selected the full name Darius, if I was playing the SNES version, I would have had a detriment to my strength and HP. So, yeah. Uh, Dragon Warrior 2, however, does not do that. Instead, you get three companions, or three characters in this. One, this is you. And it's just gonna be Dar, again. And depending on what name you make for your main character, your hero changes the name of the two characters that uh, journey with you from a pool of a bunch of other names. And it's actually pretty neat. Other than that, your name does not affect anything else in the game as far as I know. Here we go with a four. Many years ago. A young descendant of Loto, the brave hero of legend, defeated Dragon Lord and restored light to the world. The young man took a pride and left. On a journey, as they traveled, he founded several new kingdoms. These countries came to be ruled by the young man's children from one generation to the next. A hundred years have passed. Moonbrook. A kingdom southwest of Laurasia. In the castle's courtyard, the king and the young princess engage in a pleasant and peaceful chat. But then, oh, what? What happened? Guards, there's no one here. Y Your Highness, Moonbrook Castle is under attack by Hargon's army. What? Hargon dared to do this? Yes. Confound that vile Hargon. Hurry, rally our troops. Yes, run away. Listen, Fran. You say you say hiding right here. Don't worry about me. But 
But father... Hurry, go! I must inform the king of Laurasia of this attack. What? Monsters here? Take that! Take that, foul beasts! Yeah. Father! I must give word of this to the King of Laurasia as soon as I can. What? Look, he's wounded. What happened to you? Forget to my wound. I must see your king now. I have grave news for him. Yeah. Ugh. All right, hey, help me hold him up. Carry him quietly. We don't need to cause panic in the castle. Your Highness, the wicked Hargon sent his army to take Moonbrook Castle. Hargon intends to resurrect an evil being to destroy the world. Your Highness, I beg you to stop Hargon and... Ugh. Prince Darius, did you get that? You too have the hero, Lo the hero Loto's blood. Time has come for you to prove yourself in the legacy of Loto. There's no time for sorrow. Come with me when you are ready. Make sure this courageous soldier gets a decent burial. Yes, your highness. Prince Darius, it hurts me to see you leave. But this is for our people. I won't cry. <laughs> oh yeah. This is, for the time being, more or less just like the first game. All of our stats are pretty much the same, where... Strength is your damage, agility is your speed, whether or not you can hit one not, guard is your defense, with attack being your overall uh, strength plus weapon attack, and defense being your great grid plus armor stuff. You'll get spells and stuff, you'll and all that fun stuff. I'll pray for your safety, Prince Darius. Please be careful. Soldier is dead. Well, King Du- er, King. Darius, open the chest and take what you need for your quest. In Kanak and Moonbrook, you will find others who, like you, share the blood of Loto, the hero. Band together with them and thwart those who bring us evil upon us. Take what's in the chest. I was gonna turn around. Fifty gold and they start me with a copper sword this time. Go forth, Darius, my son. Mysterious, be careful. Be sure to equip weapons and armor, otherwise they'll have no use. Yeah, I guess that's an important thing to do. One copper sword. No shield. Silly enough. Even though it depicts us clearly with a shield for our character.
Where's the key? Yep. Still can't open some doors without special keys. Which is a shame because that's the treasury. Hmm, treasure. And we can't go into those ones. So these guys, the gods smile upon the just. I urge you to visit temples on your travels. They are certain to be of help. Those guys will be more relevant because now we'll actually have characters to resurrect. Hello, old man. Stepping into a traveler's cage instantly carries you far away. This one leads to an island. Is the island gonna kill me? That's a good question. Now again, much like the, uh, much like with the Game Boy version of Dragon Quest 1, this version is also a more condensed down version with faster experience lean, thus faster experiencing. <laughs> experience gain, thus faster level ups. Oh, Prince Darius, it tears my heart that you are leaving. Oh no, how could I be so rude? Please forgive me, your highness. Please forget about the feelings of a woman not worthy of you. As I was my hand. Oh, heading out? It's dangerous. Monsters are especially numerous in forests and mountains. You should stick to grass and other open places. It seems like it would be only more dangerous to be in open locations. Where you can't possibly hide from the monsters. I guess that's just me. Welcome to my item shop. Ah, the- oh, okay. I can see why the king didn't give me a shield. Alright, fine, we'll buy a couple of herbs for the now. I'll do it. Anything to do in the inn? Hello, sir. In Canuck, there is a young prince, and in Moonbrook, a lovely princess. You will, you will like them, Prince Darius. The town of Leftwin is to the west of here. <laughs> People rest there while when traveling to Kennock. The town of Leftwin is to the west. So we travel to the left to the left wind. I'm not saying that's silly. I'm just implying that's a bit silly. So, that's our first clue. On our way to the next town, we go to Kenok. Although I suppose we should try to uh, do ye the leveling up a little bit. And as you can see, there's multiple monsters in this game. Aha! Waha! Now there doesn't seem to be the coolness that is the, um... ...backgrounds that were in the first game, though. Which is a little bit saddening, but... Eh. Suppose it ain't that bad, though. Man, now if only we had Laura's love, we could see how much experience point points we have... ...to the next level. But no, I think our our uh, father of a king will pretty much still be doing that. To experience, and he dropped a chest. Herb was inside. Awesome. Yes, monsters now drop chests. So, funny thing about uh, Dragon Quests one through three, they also do have switch ports. Uh, re not. Yeah, it's not like they took the dragon... I can word. <laughs> it's not like they had taken the Game Boy Color version or whatnot and ported it to the Switch. It's more like they had taken the... <sighs> I don't want to say upscaled version of the SNES games. It's just that they had taken... <sighs> it's like they had taken the SNES version, updated the graphics... I use updated very loosely. And decided to put it on the Switch. And I do have those three games. I was tempted for a time to play them. Except then I started playing them. And... I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I really appreciate 
them doing so in the first place, putting the ports up there. But, I don't know. They feel a lot less... I guess, filled with life or whatnot. One second, folks. Don't know why it's still doing that. Anyways, uh, we have a slug. Giant slug. Maha, you missed. Yeah, level two. More HP, strength, guard, agility. Now you'll notice something too as we're leveling up. Uh, and I think this is correct, but I could be wrong. Our hero here is more of the warrior type. So he's not, in fact, going to get much in the way of spells. Despite the fact that his uh, class name is just stri straight up hero. But if you recall, our descendant was, in fact, you know, also hero. Yeah. Uh -huh. They kind of split it more into the different hero, mage, clergy sort of things later on. Oh, good. Uh, we might be a little screwed. Eh, two damage apiece, six damage a turn, as long as I can kill... Yeah, there we go. I got herbs, so we're fine. The jockey is strangely the most dangerous of the three. Seven experience points. Whew. I'm gonna use a herb just in case. 33 HP. Yes. Hello, sir. This is the town of Letwin. You should rest your tired bones. I probably should. Now, did they get rid of... I'm curious if they got rid of blacksmiths and just gave all of them to the item shops. There's the inn. I already used my herb, so I don't think I need to go to the inn. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -da -da. Damn it, that is an ample place to put something, game. Ample place. Oh, no, here's the blacksmith. Oh, good. A uh, club, copper sword, we already got one of those. A knife. A knife is better than my copper sword. That hurts a little bit. But we've also got the sickle, chain, and leather armor, or leather shield, rather. Uh, we're going to be grinding for the shield a little bit. Because I need just a smidgen more defense. Kellogg Castle is far to the north of here. Alright, so now we gotta do, go north. My good brother is in Moonbrook. He's a soldier at the castle. He suddenly came over one day and asked me to take care of his son. And that was the last I heard. Did something go wrong at Moonbrook Castle? Ooh. Got some bad news for you, lady. Ooh, a slot token. That'll be important for another time. So, another fun fact, because we will be having multiple characters, we do have more item space. But, it's only like 5 or uh, 10 slots per character. So I think they do divvy up the herbs for that purpose. Rumor has it the Prince of Laurasia is on a quest to bring Hargon to justice. Pardon? You're the prince? Yes. Oh, please, that's so silly. I mean, you know, if, you, if you've if you seen the box art for Dragon Quest 2, or at the least the front cover of the manual, I, I can't doubt, I can't uh, blame her doubt. Alrighty, ow. This is a far, far more ample place to be leveling up, I think. We'll be getting the shield. I want to be able to get some of the other um, weapons and armor, but the thing is, is that Hubley has quite a bit more experience. Oh, hey, a free club. Quite a bit more experience points than, or not experience points, gold than this area really warrants us 
trying to grind for, I won't lie. Why am I doing that? Actually, wait, we get more encounters in the forest, according to that one person. I uh, probably should have aimed for the iron ants first. Would have been one less dude doing damage. Ow. Risk it. Nah, a worthy risk. Go we'll pop an herb. The benefits of carrying herbs around with you. Oh yeah. Here's another thing. Because monsters are in large ur groups now, uh, you'll see that similar types of monsters can be paired together next to one another. Hey, yeah, level three. Ooh, more strength. Thank you. And those monsters will be part of a group. So what you'll end up doing is that you'll target the group, not the individual monster in the group. And then your character will just kind of choose which of those monsters to attack in the first place. Hello, Phantom. You're a little worrisome. Never mind. Victorious. Um... I'll just pop into town and do a quick little, uh... sleep at the end, methinks. The herbs will be... actually... Six to stay? Yeah, that's fine. Let's go trying to sell the club. Weird feature you just did there, controller, where you decided to swerve off to the left. One club. 45 gil. Gil? Gold. Same difference, really. Well, that's one leather shield. Yes. Paid for it, so equipped it. That's four more defense. We are all the stronger for it. A wise choice if I do say so myself. Well, let's head up to the north. She did, she did say far to the north. But hey, we got 40 HP, new shield, and a brain making new copper sword, which is... Um, <laughs> evidently worse than a knife. I'm not gonna get over that. Ooh, 12 gold that time. Now what I really don't remember is whether or not in this game uh, we will be... when we're attacking large groups of enemies or when we're attacking enemies in general, really. Uh, if we will divvy up the experience points, or if it's just what we get is what we get. Oh, hey, this must be Kanok. Welcome to Kanok. Thank you. Welcome to my item shop. I don't know why I give those guys such a voice. So, do they sell repellents or warp wings? Warp wings might actually be a good thing to invest in until we get something akin to the return spell from the first game. Uh, I'm wondering whether or not this is the castle. I heard of one called Hargon who appears to stir up unrest. However, when the bloodlines of Loto unite, evil will fall. That's me. I'm part of the bloodlines of Loto. You can talk to the prisoners through their cell bars. Kid, listen up. This is important. Get a hold of the silver key. That key will open any door that has a silver-colored frame around it. Where's the key? I, I want to talk to that kid. Oop. Where's that kid? Yes. Come to me. He seems to walk around randomly as I'm pushing the moving button. Over here. Get over here. Ugh, fine. Oh, I have nothing important to say anyways. This is where I learned that I am wrong. And he has some very crucial information. 
Welcome to Canuck Castle. Please, the king will see you now. Hi, king. Ah, Prince Darius. Welcome. My son Carl has already departed. He should be at the Hero Spring. Go after Carl and join him. For Darius to reach the next level, 19 experience points are needed. Yes, I will record our journey this time. Watch out for my son Carl. Don't tell me where the springs are or anything, sir. Because that's not important to my quest. Far north of Laurasia Castle is a cave in which the hero's spring is said to flow. Hey, thank you, that's helpful. Prince Carl is sort of vacant, but he's basically a decent person. That's hopeful. A real sign of a true hero there. A little vacant, but he's a nice guy. This is Prince Carl's sister's chamber. You shouldn't be here. Hello. Who are you? My brother's friend? Yep. I better tell you about him. My big brother is easygoing. He doesn't like to hurry at all. I bet he's making side trips. Yeah, that sounds about right. Hmm. What person out here I can talk to? Unless it's just another item seller. I'm a traveling merchant. It seems to be a good place for me to conduct my business. Oh, you sell weapons and armor. Knife, sickle. Uh. See, I could also just train or grind for more clubs and sell them. Dang it. Because it's 45 bucks a club. That'd be pretty great. Some time ago, I saw the sky in the south burn red. I wonder if anything happened. Moonbrook. I'm sure it's fine. I heard the prince here can cast spells, but he's a bit frail. I heard he can't equip very heavy weapons or armor. Yeah, that's pretty much a, a good guide on how what kind of people you're going to be partnering with in a, in a second. Speaking of a second, though, I think I'm going to go ahead and call an episode. Uh, when we return, we're going to head on north, find Prince Carl, and um, see whether or not he's going to be suitable for this quest. I'm pretty sure he's going to be, seeing as, you know, he is one of the three party members, after all. So, thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it already. If you guys are looking forward to more of this series consider dropping a like commenting subscribing all that fun stuff it really helps out the channel and it lets you know whenever i upload a video uh, which at this point is basically three times a day on a daily basis except for sundays because even i have to rest every so often and of course if you want to support the channel in a financial fashion i have a bevy of links down in the description below every little bit helps keeps a roof over my head food in my belly and goes to upgrading my PC so I can play games that are not on the Game Boy Color. Although I do love the Game Boy Color. Maybe I'll just stick to the Game Boy Color anyways. And the PlayStation 2. And the PlayStation 1. And the Dreamcast. And Super Nintendo. Regardless, thank you everyone so very much for watching. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care. Cheers.